welcome to Zero Crew with me Zara will bring you happiness. So in this video, I want to react to 10 surprising facts about Pakistan nuclear test. All right, let's start. So first thing I want to look at is why Pakistan built these nuclear weapons in the first place. Well, Pakistan's need to test nuclear weapons was really fueled by their relationship with India. You know, it's been a back and forth tug of war because these two countries have engaged in several conflicts over the years. Pakistan began working on a nuclear program in the late 1950s and the Pakistan Atomic Energy Commission, the PAEC, was established in 1956. The president, Z.A. Bhutto, advocated the nuclear option and in 1996 said this, if India builds the bomb, we will eat grass or leaves, even go hungry, but we will get one of our own. Those are some strong words. Now, after the end of the December 1971 conflict with India, President Bhutto issued a directive instructing the country's nuclear establishment to actually build a nuclear device within just three years. Although the PAEC already created a unit to work specifically on the nuclear weapons, that was done in March of 1974. India's, however, first tested their bomb in May of 1974, which played a huge role in motivating Pakistan to build its own nuclear weapon. Chagai-1 is the code name of the five back-to-back -back underground nuclear tests that Pakistan conducted on May 28, 1998. The tests were performed at Rasko Hills in the Chagai district of Balochistan province. Chagai-1 was Pakistan's first public test of the nuclear weapons. Its time Timing was, of course, in direct response to India's second nuclear test, which were conducted on May 11th and 13th of 1998. So if safety and security, of course, was a big issue and this was a huge requirement, so that's why they chose an isolated, unpopulated mountainous area to do these tests. Scientists wanted dry weather and very little wind to spread any sort of radioactive fallout. So that's why this location for the test was chosen. So these tests conducted by Pakistan and also by India India resulted in the United Nations Security Council Resolution 1172 and economic sanctions on both states by a number of major powers around the world, mainly the United States as well as Japan. And by virtue of just testing nuclear devices, Pakistan became the seventh nation to publicly test nuclear weapons. Pakistan's second nuclear test, the Chagai-2, followed on May 30th, 1998. Shortly after the test, the former chairman and the technical director, Munir Ahmed Khan, he had said this, these boosted devices are like a halfway stage towards a thermonuclear bomb. They use elements of thermonuclear process and are effectively stronger atom bombs. Pakistan has had nuclear capability since 1984 and all the Pakistani devices were made with enriched uranium. Now, it may not come as a surprise, but you know, the Chagai-1 tests were really condemned by the European Union, the United States, as I mentioned, Japan, Iraq, and by many non-organization of Islamic Corporation, the OIC nations. Just to give you a little bit more details on the limitations imposed on Pakistan, see so the United States, Japan, Australia, Sweden, Canada, and the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, impose economic sanctions on Pakistan. But on the other hand, nations like Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and Iran actually congratulated Pakistan and had some major celebrations. All the new U.S. economic assistance to Pakistan was suspended in May of 1998, though humanitarian aid did continue. In the long term, the sanctions were eventually permanently lifted by the U.S. after Pakistan really became a frontline ally in the war against terror in the year of 2001. So there was a little bit of backfire for Pakistan, but they managed to navigate their way through it. And just, you know, let me know your thoughts about this, about Pakistan having new nuclear capabilities. Do you think that Pakistan having nuclear capabilities is more of a threat to the planet than countries like, say, the United States having nuclear capabilities? Sound off in the comment section down below. Your voice and your opinion really matters. Wow, I cannot believe it about the Muslim country in Southeast Asia has a nuclear. Wow, it's so amazing. 
and it says that Pakistan was motivated by India because India made their nuclear and then Pakistan also made their nuclear I think it's so competitive but you know the competitive between you and your enemy is so good it's so important to us it makes us become advanced and motivate us become more successful than the enemy about this nuclear about the war the technology of equipment but it's better if all countries are peaceful and not hostile and I hope there is no war. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. But don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe. Okay, see you in the next video.